Hey folks, every summer I take tour groups out to places like Yellowstone National Park and Grand Teton National Park and conditions can be dry and hot all summer, of course, and then there's frequent lightning strikes. So we're always worried that a forest fire not only could greatly change our day, but could actually cancel parts of our tour. So we're always hoping we don't get those lightning strikes on those dry, hot days. Well, let me take you back to July 10th, 1939, and a fire does start in the Ponderosa Pine of the Black Hills of South Dakota. And that fire, after one full day, has moved six miles forward. It is overwhelming the local volunteer firefighters. It is overwhelming the men of the Civilian Conservation Corps, which are trying to help out. And so they enlist the help of any able-bodied man that wants to help out, and they wind up getting the high school basketball team, as well as other high school graduates, and even an eighth grader to come help fight the fire. And within three days, the fire is put out and they helped save the town of Hill City, South Dakota. Now, flash forward three years, and the Walt Disney Company makes a movie about animals living in a very similar type forest to this called Bambi. And the US Forest Service gets an idea. Hey, what a great way to reach the young kids who now know who Bambi is, they know the character. Why don't we team the character with our message of only you can help prevent forest fires and use that in an ad campaign and that and Walt Disney agrees to do that for a fee and this becomes the first advertisement says prevent forest fires uh, greater danger than ever right after a year's time this is a really popular campaign but the US Forest Service is not really interested in paying this fee every year to use Bambi so they'll come up with their own character which I'm guessing you probably already know it's Smokey Bear and there's Smokey Bear in his first ad campaign, care will prevent nine out of 10 forest fires. That's 1944, okay? So all of a sudden, Smokey Bear is represented in these ads, but there is no real Smokey Bear. Well, there isn't until 1950. And in 1950, during a wildfire in mountains of uh, New Mexico, they come across a little cub clinging to life. It's, his pads are burned, but they do save him, and he becomes known as Hot Foot Teddy. And here's a photo of Hot Foot Teddy. There he is in the front of this airplane. He was being looked after by this guy named Ray Bell at the time. Hotfoot Teddy becomes the real embodiment of this Smokey Bear. And of course, what kid isn't gonna be attached to that whole ad campaign when they see little Hotfoot Teddy? Now, Hotfoot Teddy eventually is gonna be moved to the National Zoo in Washington, D.C., where Hotfoot Teddy will live from 1950 to 1976 before passing away. Uh, but anyway, in the ad campaign, we get this look of Smokey Bear, who, by the way, is turning 76 years old this year. It looks pretty darn fantastic. So you had the real bear, but he was in Washington, D.C. You had this ad campaign, but if you want to get to the kids, you got to get in the schools. And so the U.S. Forest Service decides to come up with a mascot, a mascot outfit that can go to all the different schools. And they make a company in, uh, actually, they ask a company in Mercer, Wisconsin, to come up with that first outfit and look at the face on this thing. Could you imagine bringing that in to little kids? Tell me that wouldn't terrify him. So that probably wasn't the greatest idea. Um, but, you know, today the mascot looks much more like that version of Smokey Bear. Okay, and that makes a lot of sense. But uh, to wrap up this whole story, uh, the U.S. Forest Service never forgot that those young men from Hill City High School actually helped put out the fire. So in honor of that, they allowed that school district, the U.S. Forest Service, had allowed that school district to be the only one in the country that uses Smokey Bear as their official mascot, which you see, kind of hard to see, but right there, it's in the center court of the basketball court, and it's also painted on the wall as well. The team's name is the Rangers, so it's the Hill City Rangers from South Dakota. Their mascot is Smokey Bear, the only school district in the country allowed to use them. So there we have uh, wrapped up all of this in one. We've got Bambi, we got the Walt Disney Company, we got the U.S. Forest Service, we got Smokey Bear, we got a little Hot Foot Teddy, the National Zoo in D.C., a lot of information, but a cool story nonetheless. There's your history lesson for the day.